and a local company is playing a role in fixing BP's leak. Torque Light manufactures the tool that launched the underwater repairs. Now, ABC 26 News reporter Darian Trotter has details. These are quick couplings. This is it, a hydraulic torque wrench like the one engineers used to start the process of fixing the oil spill in the Gulf, 5,000 feet underwater. That's where bolts first had to be loosened in order to remove the ruptured wellhead. We needed a, a good, strong tool to go down and break those bolts loose. Dale Francis has been making high-powered tools used to loosen and tighten nuts and bolts for 30 years. His equipment's used to help build bridges and power poles. You drive along on the, you know, the street and just look to the side. You'll see nuts and bolts everywhere. I was absolutely amazed when I first got into this business to see how many. He got a call days after the oil spill from BP execs asking questions. One of the questions was, do, do your tools work underwater at 5,000 feet? And our answer to that was yes. We knew the tool would work. We knew it could work. We knew it didn't, wouldn't have any trouble underwater. And we knew that it, was, it would work at the required torque output. So we weren't worried. We had a lot of confidence that the tool would work, do just fine. Francis employs more than 80 workers at its plants in Houston and Luling, Louisiana. Everyone glad the well's been capped off and so far holding steady. We can move on to the next stage of it and all that, but we've gotten here. And the good folks there say they are proud to be part of the solution in some small way, and they say they are hopeful to be part of any additional repairs ahead. Live at the riverfront, Kurt, back to you. All right, thanks, Darian.